Hi, welcome, and I hope you're doing well. This video here, I'll be doing a teardown on a Dell laptop, and this is a 15 inch computer. So, let me turn it around and show you the model number. All right, so this is a Dell P58F001. All right, let's go ahead and get started. I'll be doing uh, I'll be show you step by step on how to remove or replace uh, the broken parts if you have it and uh, or maybe do an upgrade on your RAM or your hard drive so this video here is like a tear down disassemble um, step by steps and you get to see every single component here alright so at the back of the laptop they are all Phillips screws go ahead and remove them they're all the same sizes I'm not sure if there's any hidden screw underneath the rubber okay so this is the rubber stopper let's see if there's any hidden screw but I doubt it so once you have all the screws removed um, try to go to the corner where the weakest point is to pry open the back plate okay so have that in place let's see alright it looks like there's no hidden screw underneath the stopper so like HP laptop they have screws hidden underneath which you need to remove the stopper I mean the rubber first and to get to the screw okay so that's your back plate once you have that removed put it on the side so here you can see um, the entire laptop okay so this is your fan the motherboard the two ramps are here or only one RAM okay for those of you who wants to upgrade you can go ahead and upgrade on the second slot and the battery here is at the bottom uh, this battery here is going bad as you can see the lump is building up here and it's very hard when you press on it so the battery needs to be replaced pretty soon and here's your hard drive alright so let's go ahead and disconnect the battery first Okay, so the battery is kind of a slide in and pull out. So the two screws, go ahead and remove them. And once you have the screws removed, the battery will just come right out. Okay, and the battery here, you just want to look for this model WDX0R. And this is a 42. All right, so that's for the battery. Let's go ahead and put that on the side. And this would be your uh, controller for the keyboard and also your touchpad. There's a, another board right here. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll go ahead and remove this cable first. I remove this as well go ahead and flip open that clipper and slowly open up this cable and this is a CPU fan cable and the first thing I'll do is remove the CPU fan So there's only two screws that hold onto the CPU fan and the, there you go. If you want to find a replacement for this, uh, you just look it up the serial number on this one. As you can see the heat sink is only one that connects to the CPU. You can just leave it as this. Here's your DDR4 RAM. Okay, so to open it up, go ahead and press the two little clipper on the side and the RAM would pop right up at a certain angle like this and you can slide it out 
Okay, so this is a DDR4 where it says a PC4, and this is only a 4 gigabytes. I believe you can go with 8 and 8 up to 16, okay, or you can go 4 and 4, which is 8. So let me put this one back. Uh, you want to slide the RAM at certain angle, okay, slide it in, make sure it's go all the way in, and once you have it pushed in, go ahead and press it down, and the clipper will just clip the, the RAM back together. Alright, so go ahead and flip open the, uh, there's a little tape here, so you need to remove the tape in order to get to that, there's another clipper. Okay, flip open that clipper and slowly slide out the cable and same goes for this there's this white tape that's taped onto it for security reason so that the cable doesn't come out by itself they put a slight tape on it Okay, flip open that black clipper and this touchscreen cable will slide right out just like that. Okay, there you have it. This one here is your DC jack connector that you plug in your charger that connects it. So go ahead and open that up. And this is your speaker. And now we are free to open up the motherboard. Alright, so once you remove all the five screws, the motherboard should just come right out without any problem. And there you have it. Okay, and for those of you who wants to replace the heatsink, you just remove the four screws here. It will just come right out. Alright, so let's put that on the side. Um, Here's the hard drive. Um, this hard drive here is uh, actually regular hard drive, which is the spinning hard drive. Uh, it is not a solid state drive. So if you feel like your computer is running slow and you want to do an upgrade, uh, this is what you need to do is to replace the hard drive. All right, so after you remove the three screws, you can flip it up on the other side and, and open up the cable. Okay, so I recommend for those of you who, you know, the hard drive is bad, you need to replace it. Go ahead and replace a solid state drive. Uh, it's going to be a lot faster and I'm pretty sure, you know, um, you'll be happy with the speed with the solid state drive. Alright, so let's come down to here. As you see that the keyboard uh, is not replaceable, meaning that there's no screw that holds the keyboard, it's actually uh, the manufacturer I'm not sure how to call this thing but it's kind of like a seal like the, like a punch tool that punch onto the keyboard so all these little dots here you see uh, they are actually a punch and to, to assemble the keyboard so in other words when you replace it uh, you would have to replace entire keyboard with the palm rest so this is the entire piece if you have a bad keyboard um, 
unfortunate you cannot just replace the keyboard the way they make it is all assembled as in one piece together so now how do you get to that assemble the whole thing is by simply remove the hinge okay so not remove the hinge like remove the screw okay so there's one screw on both sides and you go ahead and open up the the hinge just flip it up okay before you can do that you need to disconnect the Wi-Fi first so go ahead and label the cable so I know that the blue marker is for the white the black has no marker on it so remove the Wi-Fi cable slide off the Wi-Fi card and then here goes your hinge okay so you lift it up at a certain angle and keep slowly moving the hinge on the side okay so once you have that hinge up about 90 degree angle and you can actually slide out the um, the keyboard all right so I show it to you this is the entire keyboard um, like I said it comes in one piece like this so if you need a replacement you need to replace the entire bottom part and for those of you who wants to change out your LCD screen entirely and you just have to buy the LCD assemble just like that the entire LCD alright so I hope this video helps and explain on how to do step by step um, you know on replacing the parts or upgrade the parts uh, if you have any question please comment below uh, write to me I'd like to hear from you and I would like to help if you have any problem with this replacement so please give me a thumbs up you know click like and subscribe and until next time i'll make more videos for you take care and have a good day